How you doing guys? This is Joe with LVV HVAC. It is Labor Day weekend. We got an AC call here that the uh, unit's basically not uh, not working properly. So I get here, I turn the machine on, it seems like it turns on, I put my gauges on the machine, and all of a sudden, uh, well not all of a sudden, but the pressure was, it showed me like, this is 410A, it showed me around like 90 PSI, then 85, and then 70, and it was kinda, I thought it was holding there, so I went upstairs, just to see if there was any ice on the coil and make sure the fan was running because uh, if it's light on refrigerant we can take care of that but I went upstairs as a check if there was uh, any ice on the coil and all of a sudden I hear the fan turn back on so when I came upstairs I thought it was gonna be on but uh, it just clicked on and then like eh, two three minutes later it just shuts off again and uh, I test I test right here in between common and uh, and cooling and, and fan and it had power for a second then it, it cut right off and then all of a sudden it comes back on maybe two three minutes later and they have a nest thermostat nests suck unless they have the c wire connected to it okay this homeowner they changed to a nest from a regular traditional to a nest because people want to have control over their units and be able to turn it on and off and look at all those cool bells and whistles but they didn't know how to take care of the, the C wire, the common wire. Now, you see over here, you have a blue wire, which I'm gonna hook up to the uh, C, and that's gonna take care of the issue because that fan was turning on and off, okay? And that C wire was not hooked up. So a lot of times what happens is if you don't have a constant 24 volts going to that Nest thermostat, that thermostat can kind of cycle on and off because it's not getting constant 24 volt power. You know, they have uh, the red right here, all right, right here. It's feeding downstairs to the nest. And I think the nest has like a resistor or something like that in there, which it, it takes the power, but doesn't have both sides of it with the common, but it, it can still run with one side. But what happens is sometimes it shuts off premature, so it's acting erratically. I've had units where it would open and close with like a blink of an eye, and then it would turn the compressor backwards. And you get this crazy, crazy sound because now the, 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 the scroll compressor is running reverse. And it could damp and then it'll run until it overheats and shut off and then all of a sudden it'll start running and then 10 minutes later 15 minutes later it turns back on it runs normal and then it's an intermittent problem so never use a nest without a c wire okay guys all right so i'm going to show you guys how to uh you know uh hook this up it's very very simple if you have this extra this extra wire right here okay then you can take this and put it right to that terminal right there in the end which is the c which see this one here that is the common, and this is the yellow. That's the Y. This is going to the outdoor unit, this one here, okay? A little sidebar. If you ever have two, that's going to the that's going to the, cond the condensing unit. See, this goes here, 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 and it's connected right to the piping. So whatever, that wire that's connected to the piping is always going out to the, to the contactor. So this is the common from the transformer, okay? Somewhere in the system, all right, from the board. And this is the Y wire, okay? So when, when the thermostat, when the thermostat tells you to, to, we need cooling, it gives power to the Y wire, which is on one side of the contactor, and this is always waiting there on, uh, on the other side as a common, and then it starts the unit. But getting back to what we were talking about, this is gonna be on my blue wire. That's gonna go right here on the edge, on the end. All right, that's gonna give the, this red here, this R and C, the 24 volts it needs to give it power all the time. And that's the only way I've seen Nest really work okay. All right, I really don't like Nest. I don't, I'm not an advocate of them because they sometimes it turns the, it, the condensing unit on, but not the fan. And I've seen that break pipes in uh, uh, during um, during winter time on water coils and stuff like that. So not a big fan. All right, guys. So try to stay away from the Nest. I would, um, but if you're gonna use a Nest, make sure that you're hooking up that that C wire. Okay, guys. So. We got the blue wire connected to the C. Let me show you the C down there if you can. Right there, see, it's connected to the C wire. We're gonna go downstairs now where this wire goes, right here. That's connected to the Nest thermostat and we're gonna connect that C wire there. So, like I said, you'll have 24 volts from this red wire and this blue wire, okay? All right, that's the common. This is the power coming in. Now that Nest should hopefully work 
the way it's supposed to. Okay, it's supposed to operate to the way the engineers have, you know, uh, tried to make it work, uh, you know, at the Nest factory. And this one hasn't shut off since. So that's a good, uh, it's a very good sign. Okay. Let me show you downstairs.